in the Iron Druid Chronicles, and the first one in hardcover. We'll be doing a short talk, as well as a reading, followed by a question and answer session, as well as a signing part. The other thing about the poster, someone just asked me if you get a poster only if you buy the new book, Shattered. So one, po one Shattered, one poster. If you buy multiple Shattered, two posters. Uh, if you, and then please help us welcome Kevin Hearn. It's awesome to be here again. I've had the most lovely day in Portland because um, Deborah has been taking me around. Yesterday I was taco-less and sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> but today we went to Porque No and we had some good stuff there. And uh, I've, I've just, I've hit a few other stores here and there but also just really enjoyed the neighborhoods and stuff like that. I didn't really get to spend a ton of time enjoying Portland before so I've had a wonderful day here. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. We went to a farmer's market, got some of those gold raspberries and some black ones too, and some Rainier cherries, which were not in season last time I was here. So I was like, ah, nom, nom, nom. So uh, I just love, you know, we don't get that in Arizona. You can walk through Arizona and like, you know, oranges and grapefruits just fall on you. But, you know, you don't get the berries and cherries down there. So uh, this has been completely lovely. And I'm very glad to be here again. Uh, the poster thing, yes. These we have, I signed these this afternoon, so they're ready to go for you, and you will get one when you come on up and say hi. These are commissioned. Uh, I I hired Galen Dara to paint this. She is a Hugo Award-winning artist out of Tucson, and I will be hiring her to do all of my stuff that's not done by Del Rey, if that makes sense. Like if I self-publish anything, um, I have that Chapel Perilous uh, short story out there. Uh, out on the internets, and that was painted by Galen Dara as well. And uh, yeah, I've got more stuff in the pipeline with her, and uh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. And uh, so there you go. I'm, I'm looking forward to giving you one of those. And, and and I'm doing that because you know I want to thank you for coming out to see me here. It, you know, there's a lot of other things you could be doing on Sunday afternoon. You could be watching the World Cup. <laughs> you, you know, you could be doing so many other things, but you chose to come out here to see me, so I wanted to do something extra for you, since uh, this is obviously doing something extra for me. Um, I wanted to uh, uh, talk a little bit to you about voice, because this is uh, kind of what this whole book is really exploring for me. I like to challenge myself with something new, every book, and so we have three point of views in Shattered. We have Atticus and Oberon, and then we have Granuel and Orla. And then we also have Owen Kennedy, the Arc Druid, and he is a lot of fun <laughs> to, to uh, both read and write. Or I, I, I mean, I, I hope you find him fun to read. <laughs> I yes. certainly had a blast writing him. And actually, uh, when I got my notes back from my uh, editors in New York on the book, uh, I had to fix all these things for Atticus and Granuel, but they said, the Owen chapters are perfect. You don't have to change a single word. <laughs> and I was like, yes, one out of three. <laughs> so uh, that, that was great. Uh, and I, I hope you guys will, I'll be doing a reading from him uh, pretty soon. Um, but the reason I got into this whole voice thing, like why do I like doing different voices is because of uh, an Oregon native son, Ken Kesey, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. When I read that in college, it kind of changed my life, and I wanted to be a writer at that point. Uh, up until that point, I had thought I would be a graphic designer and uh, sell people things that they really didn't want to buy because my typography was just that awesome. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to be become a writer after that. I uh, taught high school in the meantime until I could figure out how to write well, and uh, eventually I got the hang of it. Now, of course, my books were not written with nearly or any, actually, of the LSD that Ken Kesey uh, used. <laughs> but uh, ho hopefully they, they have you know a voice on their own. And um, I, I just loved what he did with Chief there, because Chief was so broken at the beginning, and then the language clears up as he goes. So uh, I like how the language really kind of reveals the character to some extent, and what's going on with them, how they perceive the world. So Atticus is, you know, this, this fellow who's been around for a heck of a long time. He's a little bit cynical and smart alecky about everything. Uh, but he will find out in Shattered that maybe things aren't the way he thought they were. He, that maybe he wasn't seeing things correctly. Um, then Granuel, I've always found her very interesting. 
she's been developing a little bit slowly through the series, but we just had to train her, right? But now she is finally in the position where she is um, completely, you know, she's a full druid, and she can go out and be independent and have whatever adventure she wants. Uh, <laughs> Like adventure is like what she wakes up doing, but you know she she can go out and, and do whatever she wants independent of Atticus, and she does that here, and um, really because this is actually in my opinion Granny Whale's book more than anybody else's, uh, which you will probably figure out by the end. So um, I like her because she is us. What if one of us was to get the powers that that she has now? What would we do with it? What is the nature of power? Owen also in his chapters talks about the nature of power and what should you do with it and how should it be acquired and so on. So those are kind of themes that I've got going on. There's also this, you know, parental issue theme kind of going on as well. Granuel has it going on and then Owen and Atticus have their sort of uh, pseudo father son relationship uh, to deal with as well. So um, I hope you guys dig it. And I was going to read a little